Hey everyone, Carly Myers here from Work You Love. Um, today I just wanted to hop on here to talk about, you guessed it, I wish I would have done a drum roll right there, but you guessed it, um, the holiday season. And I want to go through an analogy with you. So I think this analogy will be really interesting to see. Um, so what I'm going to ask you is what's on your plate? And even more so, what's on your tray? I think a lot of times we as humans, as people, have our, our psyche, our you know, emotions, our person. We're carrying a lot. We're like a tray, you know, a lunch tray that we used to carry in middle school and high school and when we bought lunch, right? And what's on that tray? You know, right now you have a plate for work and I'm sure you have a plate for family and you've got a little side dish of holiday preparation. What other side dishes are on there? How heavy is the tray that you're carrying right now? Is it wobbly? Are you feeling not grounded? So it, what I would encourage each of us to do today is to really think like, what is on our tray? What is on our plate? What can we, what things are we carrying right now that is just not serving us? You know, does work, is, is the plate that is work just overflowing with a bunch of junk food, or is it like the the middle school version of you know, oh, a little ketchup here, a little peas there, right? What what does your tray look like? Is it over? Is it overwhelmed? Is the work plate, you know, lean, making you carry your tray like this? Is your family life, you know, is there nothing on that plate, or is there a crazy amount of stuff on that plate, especially if we have kids? What's the holiday side dish look like? So really taking a look this time of year at what's on our tray, what's on our plate, what are we carrying emotionally and psychologically will give us a clear indicator on what we can let go of and how we can shift things around. A lot of times during the holiday season, we get really wonky. We get really uneven here. Um, we focus a lot on are getting everything done for deadline so much so that we miss the holiday spirit and uh only to come up from our desk and eat a holiday donut which isn't really exactly what we wanted for ourselves right when we talk about personal goals so where is your try and you know what? i really feel called to um draw a picture here so i'm going to do it i hope that you guys could give me just a second here so if this i need a sharpie let me get a sharpie you get a whole, a whole, a whole thing here. Do I have a sharpie? Yes, I have a sharpie. Yay! So, if this is your tray, right? This is your tray. You've got a plate for work, a plate for home. These are our typical plates, our top two ones, right? Our work-life balance, this is what everyone calls it. Um, then we have, you know, the, the side dish of like, you know, let's say applesauce, which is our friends, right? And then we have something else, this other obligation, well, travel plans, um, the holidays, right? And then before we know it, where, which way are we going here? Before we know it, this, this is really, this becomes overwhelming. It becomes our work plate is piled up to the point where we just shift, right? We shift this, this tray is now too heavy for us to carry straight on, right? We start carrying it lopsided. So where, you know, I would encourage you to give yourself this, the opportunity to do this little visual exercise to say, okay, here's my tray. Here's my top two to three things that are just always on my plate. And with the holidays coming up, what's happening? It, you know, uh, is there more weight in getting hitting deadlines at work? Is there more stress because you have to go see a family member that you maybe don't want to see? Where, where is the weight? And how can we go out and get support? How can we Scoop some of that stuff off of our plates and put it somewhere else. Um, because asking for help during the holiday season, 
I guarantee you will be one of the best things that you can do. So just challenging you guys, I wanted to do a visual. Make sure you get yourself a rectangle and draw out your plates. See what is really taking over here in your life. Where is the balance? Where is the imbalance? And start making some changes because knowledge is power. Okay. I hope you guys had a absolutely fabulous weekend. Hey, lady. Um, I hope you have a fabulous weekend. I'm going to jump off here, but I definitely think take some time this weekend if you can. See where things are out of, out of whack, out of balance, and make some adjustments. Okay. Bye, guys.